welcome to the next episode in my YouTube channel. Today I will take you with me for the adventure to the Latvian supermarket called Maxima. So if you are interested, if you are curious, what are the prices in Riga, in Latvia currently, which is in July 2023, then stay here with me in this video and we'll explore the alleys of the supermarkets together and we'll discover how the inflation affected Latvia. So, let's begin! Let's talk bread. What's interesting? Rupi maize is a traditional dark bread made from rye. It is considered a staple of the Latvian diet with its first reference to be found back in 1901. So it is actually believed that while there is no rye bread on the table, then people will be hungry. So that is very important to keep in mind. The other fact is that to actually get the rye bread, you need to pay quite much. The cheaper breads are looking like a sponge, so it's not actually the best quality of food, I would say. The only thing that bothers me with bread in Latvia is the fact that they add caraway seed to basically every single loaf of bread. Here we can see the pastries that are made in the store on a daily basis and you can get them warm in the morning. Fruits and veggies. So let's see the prices of the most common fruits and vegetables in Latvia. We can see tomatoes, eggplants and cucumbers while clearly we can see the difference in price with the cucumber in plastic and without plastic. Speaking of prices and of the inflation in Latvia, actually the June was the fifth month in a row when the inflation went down from 12.1% in May to 7.9% in June. So basically the rate for the inflation is uh, counted differently for different sectors, but talking about food, the inflation ran, rate have dropped from 17.9 in May to 14.4%. Personally, I cannot really see any improvements in prices. I really think that food in Lithuania in general is quite expensive. Let me know what are the prices of fruits and vegetables in your country. I am very interested because when sometimes I'm traveling to different countries which are not necessarily much cheaper, this can be Germany or Poland, the prices of food are actually cheaper in some of the places in Latvia. So please let me know what you think of these prices that you can see in this video. I am very curious to know how it is going at your place. Of course, the local or the food being imported from the close countries will be much cheaper. So for example, the apples coming from Poland will be much cheaper than apples coming from Netherlands or Belgium. Being vegan and vegetarian, how is it to be vegetarian or vegan in Latvia? I think that Nowadays, it can be actually a joy. The prices for plant-based milk differ from between 2 and 4 euros, so everything depends on the brand and the quality of milk that you are buying. 
in one of the most common stores in Latvia called Maxima, we have quite a small selection of vegan products. As you can see, there's a vegan mayo, vegan uh, butter, there are different spreads, yogurts, tofu, cheese, and quite many of the processed burgers, sausages, and this kind of stuff. While the selection of vegan and vegetarian products in the supermarket is not so great, the same doesn't apply for outing. So when you're going out to the restaurant, you can actually enjoy more than pasta with tomato sauce or buckwheat with a bit of a sour cream or potatoes with cabbage. There are actually many restaurants and places where you can enjoy a great vegan food. And that is and was being said by many meat eaters as well. So, what about meat? Actually, I have no idea if the prices for meat are high or low. I don't buy it, I have no comparison. The only thing that I observed is that, well, the selection of meat is quite big, there is a lot of it, and what is interesting is that while in the supermarket it has a special light put on it. It is the red light that is supposed to maintain the quality of meat. Red lights do not cause the meat to ripen or to change its color. It's less likely to cause the growth of the bacteria, so technically it ensures that the meat is still good to eat. Cheese in Latvia differ. It can be divided in terms of the period of ripening and the environment. There are fatty cheeses, medium fatty cheeses, cheeses with reduced fat, sweet milk cheeses, sour milk cheeses, smoked, melted, hard, semi-hard, and quite common yani cheese. It's Latvian sour milk cheese and considered to be a symbol of the Latvian culture. Eggs in Latvian supermarkets have different numbers on, the, of, on them. The eggs with the zero, meaning that they're the most ecological one, are the most expensive and usually sold out. Those that have numbers from two to three, they are available at most times. The prices for milk in Latvia are mostly around one euro for the most typical traditional milk. If you're going for the better brands, then we can reach even to 50 for the milk, which is basically the same as for the plant-based one. So why to drink normal milk if you can get a super nice plant-based one in the same price? We are moving to the discovery of the year, the cart snack. It's cart cheese mixed with sugar, sweeteners, different fillings. Originally, it was made with basic ingredients like poppy seeds, vanilla or chocolate. Nowadays, you can find it with jams, caramel, coconut and many others. Interestingly, in 2012, it was voted the favorite product by the Latvian consumers. The prices for yogurts are more or less from 70 cents up to 2 euro more or less. If we see the orange price, it means that you get a discount if you have the loyalty card. If the price is yellow, that means that the discount is available for everyone without using the discount card. Spices are sold in a special glass small bottles, automatically increasing their price. So I believe that the spices are actually quite expensive unless you buy them in a different package or if they are coming from a different low brand. As we can see here, you can get them as cheap as 20, 25 cents. We see buckwheat, which is probably one of the most commonly used ingredients in the kitchen by Latvian people. Buckwheat tastes great with cabbage or with sour cream and is very well known for the Baltic states. The prices for the coffee in tea differ a lot depending on what you're looking for, if it's the instant coffee, if it's the 
grounded coffee. You can find them in many different uh, shades and therefore prices. If the coffee is discounted, you can get it for about four, five, six euros. If there's no discount, it's uh, a bit more expensive, up to 10, 11 or sometimes 12 euros for a package. One of my small addictions, sweets. So, Lima is the most common brand of the chocolate in Latvia. Lima, it is actually a Baltic goddess of fate. She was associated with, with childbirth, with marriage and death, and with pregnant women. Interestingly, one of the major landmarks is the Lima clock in Riga. It is located close to the Freedom Monument and very often it serves as the meeting point. So Lima is the most common Latvian chocolate brand. I put here some prices for the cosmetics, for different shampoos and gels, just for you so you can see what are they, you can compare them to what you get in your country and let me know in the comments if they are very different. Alcohol. Recently I am not ever much of a drinker, I don't buy alcohol in Yerga, so I don't know if these prices for alcohol are actually big or not. You can see some of the bottles that were on the shelves and decide for yourself. But what's important is the Riga Black Balsam. There is more than 2 million bottles produced each year and exported to 30 different countries. There are several variations of it, as we can see, and Riga Black Balsam, together with the cherry beer, they are considered very common and typical drinks in Latvia. And since we are in Riga in Baltics, then we have kvass, fermented cereal based, low alcohol beverage with a slightly cloudy appearance. And that was everything for this week. Thank you so much for staying with me until the end. If you liked the video, then please click the like, please click the subscribe button as well. It really helps the channel grow. So I really hope that you found it useful, that you learned something and perhaps you know someone else who might benefit from this video, from discovering the prices in the Latvian supermarket. So in this case, please do share this video with your friends, colleagues, family, whoever it is. I really want this uh, channel to grow, so any interaction with it will really help me and will help this channel and the algorithm of YouTube. So thank you very much. As I said, that is everything for today. I will see you here next week. Bye!